Robert Strauss, the champion on the PGA Tour. It's kind of cool to know that you can do it. It's a big confidence booster for anybody. It just takes some of the pressure off when you know you're good enough. Robert Streb's victory at the McGladry Classic helped catapult him to a breakout 2014-15 season on the PGA Tour, highlighted by four weeks atop the FedEx Cup standings and a career-high nine top ten finishes, sixth best on tour. But Streb is not content with the status quo, and even during an off week, you can often find him working on his game at his home club of Wolf Creek. Everything's kind of going going the right way at the moment, and everything kind of working on is is going well. Pretty happy with life, so it, you know, that probably helps a little bit too. Usually doesn't hurt if you don't have any stress on your mind. <laughs> In the 2014-15 season, Streb has become a PGA Tour winner and a father for the first time. And these quiet moments on the range provide a chance to reflect on his journey since turning pro in 2009. It's changed a lot. Go from driving everywhere to bunking up with your buddies and trying to save a few bucks here and there. My wife, you know, now she gets to stay home full time with our baby, but you don't want to forget where you started. I always believed that he could do it. I remember people telling me, when is he going to stop this? Like, when is he going to get a real job? And I said, I know, I know he can do it. I know he's going to make it. I guess I didn't really know exactly what that entailed, but I always thought that he could get to this spot where he is. The Kansas State All-America quietly rose up the ranks as an amateur, and after two years on the mini tours, he claimed victory on the Web.com tour at the 2012 Milan Classic on his way to earning his PGA Tour card for the first time. Kind of got that little bit of status on the web and got on a pretty good run, and next thing you know, moving right through on the PGA Tour. But in his rookie season on the PGA Tour, he finished 126th in the FedEx Cup standings to miss retaining his card by just one spot. That 126 wasn't much fun. <laughs> kind of keeps you hungry trying to get to that next level, and you're going to have a few bumps along the way. Gradual, steady improvement is Streb's specialty. After finishing 126th in the standings during his first year on tour, he improved to 71st in 2014, before spending 28 weeks inside the top 10 last season on his way to an 18th place finish and a spot in the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. I kind of had to work my way up. Luckily, I've kind of been improving every year, which is nice. You know, hopefully, it stays that way. You kind of go from worrying about picking up points here and there, making cuts, to trying to win every week. It changes a little bit when you get in the mix on the weekends and you feel like you can win. You spend more time trying to win than you do squeaking by and having good finishes. That was never more evident than at the 2015 Greenbrier Classic, where he shot 65 in the final round despite a broken putter and made five birdies on the back nine using a sand wedge to get into a four-man playoff. And though he didn't win the tournament, the moment symbolized his resolve and commitment to improving any way he can. I feel like I'm in a pretty good place with my game, obviously, Season to season, month to month, things can change, but if I can just kind of keep making small improvements here and there, I can have some more good seasons out here.